Hello, and welcome to Sustenance and Covering, the only YouTube channel you need to not only survive, but actually enjoy the current apocalypse. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about the political aspect of being a survivalist, because as I've noticed here lately, as I go from channel to channel, and there are a lot of these channels popping up about survivalism, that uh, even though I enjoy the channels, I could never actually socially integrate with these people, because... Uh, most survivalists have in their head that they're going to hunker down somewhere with some freeze-dried food and some uh, dry-packed ammunition, learn a few foraging skills, so on and so forth. And then when the time is right, come out and take their place as uh, pr protectors of the Constitution. In fact, a lot of these people are in grassroots movements to restore the Constitution to its rightful place and bring back some truth in government. Now, the only way this could work is if there ever had been truth in government. If the Constitution itself ever had any weight to it. Fact is, anybody with any kind of sense can look back at just our founding fathers, the people that wrote the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, the greatest documents to human freedom ever written, and recognize that they were slave owners. Now, what business does a slave owner have writing a document about freedom? I mean, just use your head, people. And at the time that they wrote it, the genocide of the American Indians was already in full swing. There, uh, in fact, that brings up another point about rescuing the Constitution. A while back, right after the Civil War, uh, Indians, after hundreds of years of being slaughtered, were told if they would just act like white people, that they could have all the same benefits that the Constitution afforded white people. So they went to college, they started businesses, they built huge houses, uh, had to own city halls, post offices, things of that nature, had to own newspaper. And one day, government troops showed up and said, look, we found some gold over here, so y'all all gotta be moved to a reservation. Now this is just right from the start unconstitutional, obviously unconstitutional. But these Indians knew that since they had uh, fully integrated into a white man's world that they could get out of this. So what they did was they, the lawyers went up to uh, court, all the way to Supreme Court, and were able to get a favorable decision saying from the Supreme Court that they could go back home and live as free men. So they did. At which time they were quickly rounded up, had their, all their possessions burned to the ground, and were marched to their death. So if you want to restore the Constitution, you're free to do so. But I have to ask you, is it really, truly worth it to be free if it comes at the cost of other humans' freedom? See, if you have to enslave others just so you can be free, that's really not worth it. Now, today, we have troops that are going all over the world trying to make people free. In just the last couple of years, they've killed over a half a million people trying to make them free. And from what I understand, the people didn't really want to be free. So anyways, I would have to say that being a survivalist does not include standing up against the world's greatest superpower. Best thing to do is hide. Don't take no political sides one way or the other. Don't even choose Democrat over Republican. We've already seen that that don't work. People who say that uh, I should get out and vote because I could vote for Ron Paul, well, every single person that has ever run as an independent has come up so seriously short that I don't see any point in that. And not only that, but once Ron Paul got into office, who's to guarantee that he ain't going to become a political elitist? And whoever takes his place, what are they going to be like? It really just ain't worth it. Some people say that there should be armed revolution. It was an armed revolution that got us here to start with. Some people say we should just practice social disobedience like Gandhi and Martin Luther King. Need I say more? Look at where they ended up. Look at where their little organizations ended up. You know, Pakistan and India today are right there knocking on each other's door with nuclear weapons. The black man in the United States ain't got no freedom still. Still just as enslaved as the rest of us at least. So. The best political solution for a survivalist is to hide. 
You want democracy? Well, democracy means rule by the people. You're a people, rule yourself. Take charge of your own life. Figure out how to provide sustenance and covering for yourself so you ain't got to depend on the government to provide it for you. I hope ain't made nobody mad at me, but this is sustenance and covering saying goodbye.